But this is going to be awesome. And I was saying earlier, I just want to reiterate how awesome I think it is that we have 30, that we do have 36 teams. Some people are concerned about that. They think it's unfair that there's more competition. Competition? I, what did I say? Competition. Competition. Anyway, I welcome more competition. Right. Um, yeah, this is, is great right. for the film community of Richmond. Um, well, maybe we'll get, rec you know, it'll open somebody's eyes. Yeah. Just crew itself is 20 people, and then actors, we're going to be looking at a 30-person crew, which is outrageous for this project, but it's interesting, and uh, I don't know if it's going to weigh us down with our uh, time limit. I guess we're lucky enough that most everybody if, is pretty experienced with the work, so hopefully we'll be able to slam it out. Let's start with the Martin Agency. <laughs> I'm not worried about the Martin Agency. <laughs> they make commercials. They got the means. They're not filmmakers. The Platinum Connection, TV. again, we keep going back to them because... Yeah, there's too many people for that production and it's just gonna go insane. And then there's, there's the other group of uh, VCU affiliates. They have current VCU students that they're comprised of. Let's see. Chris, um, Chris yeah. Palmella. Um, Shahan, another senior film student from VCU. Uh, Matt West, which you all should know already from a previous Cinema Files Unfortunately, episode. he dropped out. Of what? The production. Oh, really? Matt West is not... Didn't even know that. Honestly, I can't blame him. I wouldn't want to be with them. Shahan had said, you know, let's do this 48-hour film festival thing. And um, he's like, can you get some people together? And I said, yes. And so I got pretty much everybody together that we have, except for Zach. Uh, Zach, Sean's friend Zach, that's going to be cinematographer, editor, and all that jazz. But everybody else. <laughs> the heart of the film, might I add. You know, it depends on how you look at it. That's how I look at it. Let's not I think it. everybody's the heart of this film, Sean. We all have a lot to offer. I would say some people good. are arteries, but the heart really I've... lies right here. So. Well, the blood's got to get to the heart somehow, so... Well, you can have artificial machines running your blood, so... It doesn't really have to be part of your body. But anyways, um, we have uh, the crew that we found. Yeah, pretty much, we just contacted people word of mouth, really, and Christine talked to a lot of people. Um, and that's how we pretty much got rolling. 48-hour film project uh, originated in Washington, D.C. about eight years ago. I think it was... I think it was about eight years ago, and it was um, basically just kind of a, a bet that could filmmakers make a film from start to finish in 48 hours, and if so, would it be worth watching? So that's kind of how it got started. We had uh, several teams from VCU. Uh, one of them was the Plaid Connection. Another one was a team called Agro Crag. Um, I think that's a Nickelodeon thing, I'm not sure. <laughs> and uh, then I think there were quite a few VCU students on another team called Outside the Box Productions. There's no cooking unless you're drinking. So dead. And there's no brainstorming without brain food. Now grab one of those plates and uh, I think the big one. Some of them make big caps. Here's what's key though is you gotta um the outside rim has to be thicker than the inside or else it turns into a little burger ball. Yeah. I, I grew up loving film, yeah, as far as I can remember. Uh, I, can, I can thank my father for that. He introduced me to some of the greatest films that I've ever been made uh, growing up. I mean, he showed me Jaws when I was five years old. I'm never gonna forget that. Um, uh, when I was about nine years old, I saw Jurassic Park in movie theaters. I psyched myself out 
before the movie started in the theater. I, I just, I don't know, maybe just word of mouth. I don't know what it was, but I started freaking out before the movie even started. Luckily, I hung around for the movie, and I think it was probably that experience that just like took me to the next level. And since then, I've been, I've been pursuing film. All right, yeah. yeah. The next uh, idea is in the drama category. Um, an over-the-hill magician just can't let go of his old tricks. When his worn-out magic pushes his friends away and his family threatens to leave him, can he levitate above his problems and pull happiness out of a hat? Um, so the idea is the drama... Um, the drama... When I originally conceived this one, I thought uh, the drama would be a sweet scene of like his wife being like, it's the levitation or me, you know, like like there'd be drama over his magic and then like uh, he would be doing like magic tricks, like old worn out tricks, like um, to like console his family members and just like at soccer games, like he's like making like lemonade appear or whatever. And so everyone's like, oh God. You know, that sort of stuff. So it's kind of a, I guess, a comedic drama. But uh, the drama is, you know, families being torn apart. Yep. I made him extra sloppy. I made him extra sloppy. I'm just telling you, my strategy, what I always do, is I take the edges and I always press in like that. So that they're not the circumference yeah. is a little bit smaller. The edges are just a little bit thicker. Push this down just a little bit, and then it ends up a flat burger instead of the burger ball. Mm -hmm. nah, it won't be. I promise. I was approached by Vicky Scallion. She is the founder and uh, director of Hat Theater, uh, which is located in Richmond, uh, kind of the West End, off of Patterson. Um, she runs this theater company, and um, actually, I know her because. My little sisters do a little theater acting over there, and um, there we go. A little <laughs> shout out, Hat Theater, little we'll sisters, see. best for you. <laughs> um, yeah, remember that. Vicky approached me and is like, you know what, 48 Hour Film Festival is coming to Richmond. I'm putting together a group of adult actors. I need someone to film this. Are you game? I said, are you kidding me? I am so game. She said, well, we're probably going to need a team. I said, I got it. Yeah, this is where I hang and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's, it's pretty much like this is my studio right here, but uh, we just pretty much, you know, just come out with, you know, come out with all the hot here. Yeah, I printed out everything already. You're killing me, Smalls. Why, are you printing out stuff? Seriously, why didn't you tell me this stuff? Before? Why, did you print out stuff already? Yeah, I already made like 20 copies of it. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> That's so mean. I'm just trying to help here. You know. So today, earlier today, we had a smaller meeting. Um, it was Zach, Mike, Shahan, Chris, and I. And um, we kind of went through every single genre and came up with possible locations. And so what I think it's night is, I know we already went through these genres, but if anybody in the course of a week has you know, come across a really sweet location that would fit perfectly for any of the following genres, then, you know, shout it out. The Wizard of Oz has been stuck with me for eternity. Ever since I can remember, I think maybe I was four or something. And of course, when you think of a witch, who do you think of? <laughs> the Wicked Witch, the of, the wicked West. witch of the West. Witches are green. That bitch was scary. <laughs> yeah, she warts on their nose. <laughs> flying monkeys. That, they that were all awesome. scary. <laughs> I love those things. Oh, the, the flying monkeys. Yeah, yeah but scary. just I, ever since then, I wanted to make something as extraordinary as that. And here I am.